Now let's add the shaft and the gear. Now in the instructions it's showing to add this shaft, the gear, and this little collar. To save time I'm not going to add this collar. The collar in real life would prevent the gear from moving around but in the program the gear won't move because it's fixed when you place something in a certain area um, it's pretty much fixed in that area. So to save time on the build, I'll sometimes leave some of these smaller things out. Now if you want to, you can add it. That's fine. But in here, I'm just going to leave it out. So let's add the shaft and the gear. So if you look at this motor, you can see inside of here, actually, let's hide this. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to choose Hide. If you see, this is where we want to put the shaft. So I've hidden that plate. Now if I go to Auto and I click on this shaft which is under Common and I click here or I hover it over this area here and I click it puts it there. Now I'm going to use the negative to shorten it on this side and the positive to make it longer on this side. And now it's placed. Now I'm going to show all. There's my plate again. Next, with Auto, I'm going to click on this gear. And you can see when I hover it, it automatically places it. I click, and now it's set at that location. Now again, I could go and try and find that small little collar that goes in here. But in the program, this gear will not move back and forth. It'll be fixed, so I'm not going to bother with that. 